What's up guys, it's me Stridex here with another Pokemon video for this Pokemon channel. This time on the PTCGO game. So in this video we will be opening 31 packs and maybe doing a battle. I still have not decided, but we got 31 packs. So, you know, 30 packs of Ultra Prism. Let's see what we get, my boys. Let's hope we get some good stuff. I'm hoping for a few Dustmanes, some Magnazones. Maybe a few uh, Diagas. Or, uh, Luxray. That would be good, too. Ah, Taco Scroll. Alright. Let's open another one. So I traded a card to get these 31 packs. Um, I had an extra of those cards, so it didn't really bother me. Tapu Lele. Still waiting for the Psychic promo. Honestly, I would honestly love the Psychic promo. And Cyrus Prism Star. Very good, uh, Prism Star. You can play this card only if your active Pokemon is a water or steel Pokemon. Your opponent chooses two bench Pokemon and shuffles them, shuffles the others and all its cards attached to them into their deck. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering why the screen is like this, is because I'm recording my phone. I got an APK for this game. Just I feel like they should just make this game a phone game anyway, but whatever. I got an APK and it works pretty great. So Pokemon, get to it. Make a phone version of this. But I wanted to bring you guys online, and this was the quickest way to do it. So, here we are. And a Trampa Hollow. Outrage. They made a few Outrage Mon lately. Not that they're any good, to be honest. If they had more HP, it would be a lot better. And a Drapion. So far, nothing. So far, nothing. But we're only a few packs in, and uh, I have some hope. I have some hope. We got the Wash Rotom. And another Cyrus Prism Star. <laughs> wow. Alright. That's interesting. An execute Piplup. Oh, the Luxio. Disconnect. Your opponent can't play any items card, any item cards from their hand uh, during your next turn. And an alone sand slash. Ooh, a Pissimian. Seen a lot of play recently with the Sun and Moon based Pissimian because Pissimian deck is a thing. Ooh, Luxbrook and Fan Rotom. So far, not looking too good. But, again, I, st I still hold my head high. A Mars Hollow and a Lectobire. Well, maybe holding my head high isn't such a good idea. It's going to tank and... Ooh, Luxray Hollow. That I'm happy about. Very happy about. Uh, Turtwig, the Buzz. Oh, another Pissimian. Cynthia and Torterra Hollow. Cynthia on its own is pretty good. Alright, come on. Give me some good things. Right now. And a Heatran. Is this a Hollow? Oh, it is a Hollow. Let's open another one. I don't like that they made a reprint of Cosmog and gave it Teleport, but. Whatever, we can't get any everything, can we? Oh, and an old Executor Hollow. You know, I actually think this card has a bit of potential. You might see it in another video. But as for now, don't worry about it. Ancient Crystal. Used for Reggie Box decks. Even though, I mean, it's useful, but I don't. I think, like, Choice Band would probably be more useful. It could be useful in, like, the other Reggies, but I don't know. And another Luxray Hollow. Alright. No GXs, which is kind of sad. Kind of hoping for some more GXs. And an Empoleon. Or Empoleon. And another Ancient Crystal. Hmm. Maybe we should build that Reggie Box deck. Maybe. Another Disconnect. Watch Frost Rotom and a Fan Rotom. These packs are not looking too good. Other than the Lux Arrays. That's pretty good. With uh, this, oh, here we go! Rainbow Rare Leafeon GX. Let's take a look at this card. Ability Breath of the Leaves. If this Pokemon is your active, once during your turn, before your attack, you may heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any energies attached to it. And that's pretty good. You can heal damage off, and that's just dandy. Now, Solar Beam for a, a Grass and two Colorless. Uh, obviously, it was going to be a, an energy and two Colorless because that's how Owen. Uh, EV evolutions have been 110, so you can get 140 with Choice Ban. If you use Professor Kukui, which 
I don't think anyone would in the Leafeon deck, but if you do, you get 160. And then Grand Bloom GX for each of your bench basic Pokemon. Search your deck for a card that evolves that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. And then shuffle your deck. So that's very good, very good. And we got it in Rainbow Rare, so that's also very good. Right, let's see what we got. Top of Lily. It's not hollow, so that means this is a Prism Star. Sogaleo Prism Star. You guys already saw the deck profile of Sogaleo, so you guys already know what this uh this this is, so you guys already know. You guys already know. Alright, that's five fossil and a reverse nope, reverse. Reverse rare or just reverse hollow? My cat is on my back right now. Alright, well, I guess my cat's gonna stay on my back. My cat is joining us for the video. And Shinotic. Alright. So far, all we've gone with some few Lux Rays, a few Prism Star, and a Rainbow Rare Leafeon. Ooh, Solid Unit Magnemite. That's very good, very good card. And a Shaman Hollow. Alright. Rangiru, Napoleon, and a Glaceon GX. Alright, let's check out this card. So we bought go both evolutions in the same opening. That's great. So freezing gaze. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX in play in their hand and in their discard pile have no abilities except for freezing gaze. So, that's sort of like Garbotoxin, except just for GX and EXs. Then you have for a water and two, two colorless frost bullets, like Umbreon's attack, and you do 90, and this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Very good attack. And then Polar Spear, for a water and two colorless GX, 50 times, this attack does 50 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. I don't know if that's a very good GX move, but... Ah, who am I to judge? Maybe some people can find a way around there. And I power on. And another frost rotom. So far we only got two poles out of 31 packs. I mean, should be a bit better, but oh well. Oh, not a reverse rare, so si another Cyrus. Wow, all right. But Cyrus is like one of the most playable Prism Star right now, anyway. There has been a few leaked Prism Stars in later sets that are pretty good. And the Shaman Hollow got six packs left, guys. Six packs. Let's see if we can pull anything good. Lily and Lickitung. No thanks. So we got, oh, so we got a Prism Star, another Sogaleo. All we've been seeing is Saris and Sogaleo. It's kind of weird. Gumshoe and a Shinotic. Three packs, three packs, you still have a chance. Alright, Bomba Snow and an Arachnoquid. Or Arachnoquid. Or, no, I just said that. Araquanid, there you go. I don't know if you guys have heard that, but whatever. Reverse rare Rotom and a type null. Come on, last pack, last pack. Dustmane Necrozma. Right now. Dustmane Necrozma ah, or a Palkia GX. Alright, so I know a lot of people have been hating on this card and I can't blame them. Although I do see some potential with it. Obviously it would have more playability if it was a water type. But, even at its dragon form, his first attack does give it a bit more uh, ways to work around energies. And you have a bomb of snow that was a release in the set to give your the Pocky energies. But, anyway, that has been 31 packs. I don't know how long we've been recording for. Is there a way to check that? Only 9 minutes and 30, 38 seconds. You know, I don't know if we should do a battle. No, no, since I have to go do something real quickly, we will not do a battle, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this this opening video for Vulture Prism 31 Packs Online, 
And uh, I surely did. We got both of the evolutions, one rainbow rare, one regular art. Very cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.